Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I, Chaos Needles, am going to give you guys a little treat. Uh, I found while sourcing through, uh, you know, the wild world of the internet, found a glitch for uh, Crota's End Part One uh, with all the thralls and lighting up the lamps. Uh, it allows you to pretty much skip it and do it in about five minutes. So here we go. I did it as a titan, but first off, you're gonna spawn. You're gonna run over here as quick as you can. Run past this light. Try to avoid all the little thralls and stick to the left. I like to go left around this hole, but you can go right. Doesn't really matter. Run down here. Quickly, I can make this light, and then this rock. You're gonna jump up there and jump all the way to the top. Uh, you can activate the light from up top here, but I like to just grab it real quick. Uh, once you get up top, you're going to stand right where I am and at the crack and look at the light. And when the light explodes, it's going to launch you through the air and up onto this wall. Once on the wall, you're going to turn and run towards where you spawned. Uh, you're going to follow right here on this little ledge. Uh, you're going to follow it all the way down. Um, until you get to like the last little walkway that juts out to the right. Um, once you get to weight of darkness times 10, you're not going to be able to sprint anymore. Uh, but that's okay because from here on out, nothing, there, there won't be any thralls. None of them are going to spawn. They all stay down there, uh, by the first light. Um, the only thing that you have to kill I mean, you really don't have to kill it, but it just helps out. You're going to have to kill um, a knight. Uh, once you get to the last little walkway, you're going to turn up to the right, and uh, you should be heading towards the light in the distance that's up the hill. Right over here, watch out for the holes. Do not fall any. And like I said, there's that knight. Uh, to make it easier on yourself, uh, you can just kill him. I had two rockets, so I shot him. Then go ahead and get your darkness down. Like I said, um, nothing spawns, you're perfectly safe. So just take your time, you know, get ammo if you need to, if you need to go to the drink or the bathroom, whatever. I mean, you're perfectly fine too. Uh, once your darkness is down though, you will continue up the hill. Watch out for the hole at the little crest of these hills. Uh, if you die, you start all the way back at the beginning and we do not want that. So once again, get to this light. You know, take uh, your darkness down. And you're going to want to have heavy ammo uh, for this next part. So make sure you stock up before uh, moving on. You're going to go to the left of that little hole right across this little walkway. You're going to follow this little ledge. And right here is where you start the final part of part one, so to say. Um, you're going to want to get your weight down just so you're faster and that rock right there that's where you're going to want to go um, but once this light uh, is about to be destroyed make sure you hide uh, so it doesn't kill you um, because you start and you see right there it pushed me into a rock which damn near killed me uh, but you're going to go ahead then and activate the bridge and run over here and jump on this rock. Uh, all the thralls will not be able to get to you on the rock, even the um, cursed ones, they won't be able to blow up. But you're going to look over here towards this light, uh, and either with a rocket launcher or a sniper, I prefer to rocket, uh, you're going to see an ogre spawn. You're going to want to take him out. That's, that's your main priority right now, is take out that ogre. Because uh, if you don't, he will fire his lasers at you all day, he'll kill you. Um, once he's dead though, all these little thralls are going to run away, they're going to scatter. Because you pretty much cut the head off the snake at that point. But you're going to wait around here until that bridge is fully, uh, fully made. You know, just want to look around, just make sure there's nothing else lurking. Um, there shouldn't be, that ogre should have been the last thing besides all the little thralls running around. But once uh, the bridge is complete, I believe it says path forward is complete. You'll see it down at the bottom left. Yep, the path forward is clear. Okay. 
completely clear. Pretty much the same thing. But you're gonna run your ass off at this point, uh, cause those thralls will chase you. And you're just gonna keep running, and running, and running. Run across the bridge, into this big door, which is glorious light. Nice, and safe, warm light. And you keep running and running, but when you get into the light, you'll get your little reward, and the first part will be complete. Boom. Three radiant charts. Not bad. But uh, that's part one for you guys, so I'm going to try and get up a uh, video for part two, because you can also do that solo by yourself uh, here shortly. So if you liked uh, what you saw, you know, go ahead and hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we got all kinds of videos, got some GTA, uh, we're going to try and get some Call of Duty stuff out soon, uh, especially when Zombies rolls around. Uh, we also got some, what else, we got Destiny obviously, because you're watching that, we got some Halo, some Dragon Age, so just, you know, fish around the channel, check it out, and uh, we'll see you next time on Chaos Needles. Out.